This is just a short little video to show off my new oscilloscope. It is a Rigel DS1052E. It's a two channel, 50 megahertz, one giga sample, um, digital storage oscilloscope. So, here I'll turn it on. Oh, it lights up. I turned on the beeping noise, I like it. Okay, there's the two signals. We got blue and yellow. Blue and yellow down here. And we got the two probes. So, I'll get this connected to. I've got this little device here. It's called a gym stim, it's for testing mega squirts. So, we'll uh, hook it to that and see what it does. Okay, now I've got it hooked up. The two probes going to the crank and cam simulated outputs. That's off right now. The scope's on. I'll show off my nice little uh, soldering iron. Uh, a nice digital readout for the uh, temperature. I love this soldering iron. Even though it's made by Radio Shack, or rebadged by Radio Shack. This is the uh, nice standard tips. Anyways, enough for that side rant. Anyways, let's turn this thing on. It's now on. I gotta turn up the. Okay, here I'll turn it off. Okay, up a little bit. There's some signals. This is kind of a weird wheel pattern, so that's why I like to play with it. I'll turn it up some more. There we go. I can play with... Now I'm on channel 1. Okay, so let's play with a vertical scale. Click. Click. It's bigger, bigger, bigger. Um, yeah, I've already played with these knobs a bit to get this. Zoom in on each pattern. Zoom out. Zoom out some more. And more. That gives you an overview of what the thing looks like. I can hit the stop button. It freezes the wheel. And I can zoom back in while it's stopped. And I can move it side to side to review it. See up here it shows me where I'm at in the memory. So, up to, let's go back out a little bit. Up here we've got the, uh, this is the crank wheel, and down here is the cam, so it can synchronize with the crank wheel. Um, I don't think they're at the same scale. Um, well, maybe they are at the same scale. Just learning how to use this thing. Anyways, yeah, it's pretty neat. Zoom in some. Ah, yeah, this will come in extremely handy for troubleshooting. Hold the camera in the right spot. Sorry, guys. There's the cam sink there. Yep. Let's see, I've got the red stop light lit when I hit go. I'm not using the auto button, which will automatically adjust things. I've been told it's not cool, so I want to be cool. <laughs> uh, let's see, menu. There's a menu. I finally got it in English instead of Chinese. Um, bolts per division, of course. I wonder what that means. Let's try it. Fine. Hmm. I don't know. So on DC coupling. Bandwidth limit is off. Probes are on 1x. Digital filter. What's that do? I don't know. Anyways, I got another one over here. You 
utility. Uh, let's start setting the thing up. Um, yep. And you can hit stop, and you can go to storage, and you can save the waveform. You can plug in a uh, USB thumb drive right here, which I did earlier, and save the waveform, which isn't even on the screen right now, to a uh, to a thumb drive, which is kind of neat. And you use their software on the PC to view it. Yeah, it's got a lot of nice knobs here. So learning how to use the thing, I've never really owned a scope before, but I've seen enough videos online on how to use them that I've been able to make it do things. I'm really happy with this scope. It uh, came highly recommended, and you can hack it. See, it says it's 50 megahertz, so you can hack it to be 100 megahertz uh, pretty easily. So I'm going to do that. When I see a need to do it, probably pretty sooner than later. Anyways, let me show off my collection here. I got the my little robot. A little Arduino clock blinking away down here. And another Arduino there. Yep. Okay. Yep. Let's see that. 